Source.net. Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick guide for anyone who's trying to install uh, the Google Play app on Windows 11. So this isn't an official method, but it is quite a good one. Uh, it's just a open source piece of software from GitHub. So we will get started in a second. There are a couple of things you need to know. First thing you need to know is that you need to have the original Windows subsystem for Android set up with the Amazon App Store. If you haven't done that yet, uh, I'll post a link in the description so you can set that up. Then once you've completed that, you'll be able to do this. So we'll just assume you've already done that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is jump on over to the GitHub page and grab the little uh, bit of information we're going to need. I'm just going to grab the link from our website quickly. Okay, so jump over to the GitHub page. I'll leave a link in the description to this page. Okay, so once you're on this page, scroll down and grab this command line here and just copy it then go to the start menu open PowerShell so just search it right click run as administrator accept the security prompt okay now in your PowerShell window just paste in the command and press enter it'll take a couple of seconds to load We'll have a new pop-up. So if you've already got the uh, original subsystem for Android done with the Amazon app, you won't have to do anything extra here. You can just go straight down and click install Google Play Store for Windows. Okay, once you've done that, this will pop up. Click P to proceed. Now here you'll be given a little link. This is where you can download the new subsystem for Android. So just copy it. Go back over to your browser, paste it in, download the file. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to minimize that and jump over to File Explorer. Okay, so that is the file there. The quickest way to get the path for the next step, just right click on it and go copy as path. Uh, don't unzip it, by the way. Now jump back to PowerShell paste in the path and press enter and it will remove the old subsystem and reinstall a new one. This takes a little bit of time okay that's it now once you get to this screen you'll get this another one pop up here we'll just wait for them to load and I'll show you what ones to close. You, you can close them all essentially but you want to at least wait for the subsystem for Android 1 to finish then you know you can access the Play Store. Okay so just click continue I don't generally share my diagnostic data so okay all done so we can close this window we can close this one in the background and this is the new subsystem for Android that's installed. Uh, just leave it running in the background and we can quickly check if Play Store has been installed and there it is there. So simply click it and it will open. Now you just got to sign in as you would on your mobile device and that's it. Anyway, that wraps this one up. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd prefer a text guide, I'll drop one in for our article as well. So you can follow the same steps through in a written format with pictures. So it'll save you some time as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.